Hello. Okay, so I got my Ipsy Glam bag. Everything was in here. I just don't like how long the video turned out, basically. Okay, so um, I ordered some add-ons and this is my first Glam bag to get. I do have Box Chairman Icon under a different account. Um, some people are saying that they got a second account so that they can get a BoxyCharm and an Icon in the same month because the Icon box will replace, you know, your BoxyCharm. Um, so I was considering doing that and then they showed the bag they're going to have for October, which was this one. And I really, really wanted this bag. Um, so I signed up for the Glam bag so that I could get this. Um, I'm only getting one BoxyCharm at, you know, the time, you know, right now it's actually on the way here. Um, maybe I will add a boxy charm to this. That way I can get the box charm and the archon like I want. Um, but I'll decide that later. Okay, so apparently this was supposed to be like a hand with a deck of cards in it, or like tarot cards, but they changed it to this uh, crystal ball. I liked it. I don't remember if there was a snake on the original picture I'd seen. And um, when somebody had shared on Reddit, like the four options of what the October bag was gonna be, I don't remember if it had a snake on it, but the other stuff was there. And either way, I really do like this design. I like it with snakes and everything. I kind of wish it glue in the dark. Like, I want it to be like a glow in the dark uh, one. I think it would look really nice if it would glow in the dark. Um, but anyways, it does, it feels, you know, nice. I like the pink inside of it. Okay, so I've already um, tried the colors and everything. So I guess let's talk about the blush, which would be this one. I got mine in Gorgeous. And it says I have 24 months to use this because I've already opened it. So <laughs> I don't really know how to apply uh, makeup, so I'm kind of glad they gave me a little tester sizes of some makeup products. Um, that's about what it looks like. Slightly darker in person. Um, it does have a shimmer in there. So this is what it looks like on my hand. And... Mm, about like that. That's more what it actually looks like, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of kind of dark. It's almost like a bruise. There you go. Like a bruise on my hand. But in person, in the light, it looks like a lighter pink. So I like it. I do think I'm gonna have to put this on lightly because this can definitely. To me, this is something I would try and put on my eyes as an eyeshadow. With how dark I put it on um, my hand. But. I like it. I think it's a nice color. They did have another color, um, another color option apparently. Yeah, I like it here. I will say that on my finger, it kind of looks like, you know, like you smash your finger, something like kind of blood comes on the surface. It kind of looks like that on my finger. Um, but yeah, I do like it. And I can see like the shimmer stuff in it, um, just on my hand and everything. So that's nice. Um, let's go to another choice they gave me. So, or choice they had for me, like they made it. So this is Pure Heels by Nature Village. It's Centella 80 Eye Cream. It's 0.27, sorry, I, I should have told you. This one was 0.19 ounces, uh, the blush. 5.5 uh, grams, and yeah, 24 months because I've already opened it. So <laughs> this one is 0.27 fluid ounces. Hmm. Uh, the expiration date at the top says so 2027, and this is apparently a Korean product, I guess, based on this date. It looks like it says Kaji. Um, I believe that's what it says up there. Alright, so, yeah, I don't really see where it says the expiration date on this. Anyways. You know, after you open it, you know, usually they're like, oh, you have like this many months and stuff. So this one actually comes out kind of clear. Um, it's not a bad product. To me, it kind of smells almost like something I would use when I'm sick, which I am, I believe, getting sick based on how I feel in my throat and everything. Um, but yeah, I would, <laughs> this smells like something I would use when I'm sick and I kind of want my nose to clear up, but like a softer version of that scent so not bad um it is an eye cream so it's like it doesn't really need to be scented um okay so this is something by keys it's a peptide cream so you can this up. she has this firm belief smoothing peptide cream 
Um, this just comes out, you know, white in the tube. The other one was kind of clearish. Um, kind of, I guess, petroleum jelly would look. But yeah, this one's just a white thing in the tube. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, didn't really have much of a scent. Yep. This just smells like uh, skincare would smell. Um, so yeah, not bad. Great size for, you know, the bag and everything um, to take with me to reapply during the day. Oh, mine wasn't broken. I know sometimes people get stuff from this company that's broken, but yeah, this came like with bubble wrap thing, so that one's fine. Um, this I'm going to use on my hand to see how it, you know, removes this stuff um, in a little bit. So yeah, this is the mini size. It's, it smells like it's lightly, lightly, you know, like a light, light, light perfume. Um, the full size of this was an option for my BoxyCharm, I believe in September. Um, I did not choose it because I already have a makeup remover and I don't really know how to put on makeup, so I don't wear makeup very often. I just, you know, test it out at home. Um, so I didn't feel the need to get like another full size makeup remover. But this small one's perfectly fine. I can bring this with me you know, to fix up any issues I have during the day. Um, all right, this one is 0.67 ounces. So yeah, I think this is a good size. I will say it does remind me, like the look of this, of like the baby bottle when like you feed your toy baby when you're a kid. That's what this looks like to me. Um, it is by Oat Bay. And it expires in 2027. So yeah, not bad. It is a hyaluronic oat milk oil makeup remover okay so the one I chose for myself it's these shades it's a full-size lip liner duo it's in sweetie um, and lovey it's on my hand right now so I like the darker one which I believe is sweetie yep I like sweetie um, I don't really like the way lovey looks um, at least not here maybe when I if I put it all over my lips maybe I'll like it then um, but I don't really like how it looks, uh, right now, <laughs> like, on my hand. Okay, so it does come with a sharpener at the bottom. It's a little sharpener, so you can, you know, I guess people call it make precision line or something. Make it pointy, basically. So yeah, this is one, um, this one is lovey, and then this one is the actual one I like, and the sweetie. Yep. Okay, so the amount of product you get in these is basically like from the tip of my finger to about a little less than the middle of my pinky. Um, so basically it's just in this part here. And it's not even the full part all the way down, it's just in this part. Um, so I don't know why we have all this plastic, if, it just, if it's really that small. So I guess with this, I'm understanding why um, some people don't even bother with full sizes. Like I saw some people making videos about their makeup and applying makeup and how they choose it and stuff. And uh, they say they don't even bother with full lip liners or even like eyeliners. They just get the minis because the product amount isn't really all that much different for them. Also, uh, according to this, they are 0.28 grams for each of them. And I have six months to use them because I've already opened it. So, <laughs> so I, I do, I gotta use this. Um, <laughs> oh. $22 for this duo. The duo is $22 apparently, according to this Lucky Chick website. Okay, so let's talk about um, my add-ons. I got Burr. It's a hair mask. You put it on for five to seven minutes and you know, rinse it out. Um, it says deep condition plus bond repair plus strengthen bonding mask. Uh, this one I believe was perfumed. Kind of smells like, yeah, it's the one that to me smells like a flower. I just don't know what the flower is. Like, it does smell like it's definitely got a scent. Maybe if I open, open it. But yeah, it, um, no, won't even let me do that. Yeah, it smells like, I should like it on the center, probably. Okay. So yeah, it does to me smell like it's got to be some type of flower or something. Um, these are apparently made by some guy. The company's like called Fat Boy. Um, and I believe the guy was in sports. This guy, uh, I had seen, I looked it up, you know, trying to find reviews and stuff on this company. Couldn't really find many. Um, did find some from men. Um, talking about how he was in a sport. I don't remember what the sport is, but he was a guy in some type of sport. And apparently he made a company. Um, also, 
it definitely smells like a men's product like it smells like a men's cologne um which i'm fine with because like you know put in my hair and everything and then go exercise or something you won't probably won't be able to smell me sweating or exercising because i will smell like men's cologne <laughs> just this um this kind of smells like a strong scent once like out of you know the, the tube um it's 10 ounces for these products it says paraben free sulfate free um i got these for six dollars as add-ons but they're each 24 dollars on the fat boy website and you can get a discount if you get them together but it's not much of a discount it's just like a few dollars off um they are made in usa uh, apparently but yeah not that bad so I like it. I, I, I feel like I should try them um, just because they're $6. They're volumizing shampoo. Don't really need much volume, clearly. Um, but you know, fluffier is better sometimes. Okay, so next one I got would be this Whipped your uh, whipped for Your Convenience Expresso Scrub Creamy Exfoliator for most Smooth Glowing Skin. Uh, it's by Frank Body. And what is this? Okay, I guess there's descriptions on the back of how you're supposed to do this. I'm not gonna show this. Um, yeah, it's good for 12 months. Um, I have smelled this and I don't really like the scent just by itself. Uh, it smells like some type of nut or something. Um, but like on my body, for some reason, it reminds me of Tootsie Rolls. So I like it that way. But yeah, it's a coffee scrub. Um, there were some reviews I could find on it and people were saying that they like it but that you will definitely have to clean your tub out after using, you know, coffee scrub. Um, okay, so this is the freebie I got for signing up, you know, for the account, basically, the new account, um, which is, I think, kind of odd because they're sending me emails to my already active membership uh, email address asking me to re-sign up and they'll send me this as a freebie. So I don't know why they're sending it to that. Wanted me to read. I already have an active membership. I don't need to resign. I have an active membership with you. Um, but yeah, so I just made another one and used it for that basically. Okay, so um, this I thought was going to be bigger based on the photo that they showed. Um, but it's it is a full size and is one hundred forty five dollars for this size product. Um, Gold fat and MD plant profusion energetic eye cream. 0.5 fluid ounces. Uh, this one just smells like a product, you know, just any old skincare product. Uh, they do this little thing you pull up, and yeah, it's just that. So yeah, not bad. I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna, it's expensive. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rub this on anywhere but my actual eyes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can use this day or night. Um, it recommends using it, you know, both. Uh, people did seem to like it. It's just way out of my price range um, for something I would actually purchase. So I do like that I got it as a freebie. Yeah, so that's my bag. Um, I'm still waiting for my BoxyCharm to arrive. Yeah, I like everything I got. I'm glad that my stuff is here. I'm glad I got a hair mask because I do need to do a hair mask. Um, but yeah, I like all the little items and everything. And I really do like that one color for the lip liner. I don't really wear makeup, but I have wanted a lip liner because I do like the look of, you know, wearing a lip liner, even when you just put like a gloss in between it, uh, instead of like actual lipstick. Um, some people just apparently use a lip liner, so maybe I'll do that. That'll definitely make the product be used up in the six months I have to wear them. Because that's like three months for each of these if I wear them daily. Uh, it's, so I got to use these. <laughs> right, but I'm glad I got them. Um, I think they're nice. Clearly, I've got to go probably give my cat more food. He's my chunkies. Uh, yeah. Okay, so have a good day. Bye.